Okay, this is the water coming up from the sump tank. It's coming up that pipe there. This is the old line. That line used to come here and head over here and go up and go to the dragon tail you see there and it would splash into the tank, okay? So what we're doing now is we're, we intercepted that line, put a T in it, and we diverted her over to here. And if I open up this valve, then she goes up high. So we're about eight feet high there, okay? So at about eight feet high, you have it reduced to two inch, blast it in there, and training those bubbles in there. And we're heading down, and this is a trump pump. The water and the air goes into there, and you see the air is getting collected in that drum, to the next drum, to the next drum, okay? Notice the half inch pipe on the top, that's right here. That half inch pipe coming across here, it comes here. Now we send that up high, way up high, because that's above the height of that, so that this water pressure cannot push water up into here, okay? Even though the tops of those are all in the air, so there should be no water in here. But if you have a great release or something, you could suck something. So we do that. So we have this one. We can use it as an alternative one. We could have a flow control in there as to how high we're going to let the water go in that tank before or how low it's going to go. And right now we're going to pressurize these guys up and the water leaves these drums here. By the third drum, now notice that all of them have air. We tried running on one drum, we got two PSI. We did two drums, now three drums. So you see the air was being carried all the way through, nine feet here, all the way to here. And now it's heading here, and it's heading up the hill and going to the fish tanks. And then the fish tanks, I'll circle around over here for you. You'll see it's going in the fish tank. So notice that that height of those pipes right there, and that one over there, they're matching, okay? And we have a little valve here so we can tune to get an even flow, okay? That backs up the water over here, okay? If you lower those over there, this water in here would drop down. If the water in here dropped down, I would get less pressure. The pressure is determined on how high this is. So if it was 100 feet high, I'd have 50 PSI, okay? But we come over here, and oh, I'm about six or seven feet high there, and we're running about three PSI. Earlier we had it at three and a half PSI, so she'll build right on up to that. Now what do I get out of that? Well, if I open up this valve, notice I open it, and the needle didn't move, okay? So I'm maintaining the pressure, okay? I'm maintaining the pressure, but let's go over here to the fish tank and see what I'm getting out. If I come over here, this is what I'm getting out, folks. This is the level of air that we have coming out. And that is just an open pipe. There's a hose underneath the water. So how is that for air? Now I can take out that supply of air continuously and maintain by pressure over here. So that's the trick is to see how much you can take out and what you maintain. Now if I make that deeper then it will hold it up. Okay?